it takes a heck of a lot of energy for you to hide from your feelings. It takes a lot of energy for you to, uh, to minimize the things that happen to you that you have overcome. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the money minister. I support action-oriented spiritual people to create six-figure incomes in their true design, okay? I believe we're all born, meant, called to live free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love-drenched lives. But we have all of this stuff inside of us that, especially we in this community, we've overcome a lot. And I don't ever want to diminish the pains that you've been through. Okay, but I see you diminishing the pain that you've been through. There's a part of you that feels like I can't, I shouldn't even pay attention to those pains inside of me, the hurts inside of me. I just need to move forward, do the next thing, um, stop that business, do, and yeah, you know what? There's action to be taken, absolutely. But do you understand? And this is why you are under earning, okay, or under achieving, or both. You are using a heck of a lot of energy to pretend that you have no pain. You're using a lot of energy to keep secrets from your past. Secrets about when you, maybe when, as an adult, you got into a relationship that really you weren't supposed to be in and it hurt you. And there's a part of you that feels ashamed that you got into that situation. And so you don't really want to handle it. The pain of knowing that you made such a mistake you would rather pretend it doesn't exist. The problem is it does. You're pushing it down. Some other ways that we try to hide from our, our, our own self is when stuff happened in your childhood. Your parents maybe didn't love you the way they were supposed to. Maybe they were addicted to something or the other. Who knows? There's a story. There's some kind of story. Or maybe they've separated. And you had to handle a heck of a lot of pain. There were lots of secrets in your family that you had to keep. And so now, as an adult, you look back and think, it wasn't that big a deal. I shouldn't, it shouldn't really still be affecting me. But it is. <laughs> but it is. And I laugh about it, but I've had to go through this stuff. I know when I came to this country first, as in when I came to the UK first, we didn't, as a Nigerian girl, we didn't, I didn't think about what's going on emotionally with me. No, 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 no. I just felt that was some kind of English nonsense that I just need to face and do, you know, face the, the practicality of life, do the things I need to do and move forward. So I minimized all of my pain. I minimized all the stuff that had happened to me growing up. No, we don't want to be victims. And I certainly, that, and that was one of the reasons why I, I wanted to minimize. And that's why you're minimizing as well. You know, but the thing is, we may not be victims and we're more than survivors. Yes, we want to thrive and all of that stuff. But you can't pretend that pain does not exist. I was reading, I was reading in a book. It's something like, you know, when people have somebody imagine having an accident, a car accident. Okay. And actually that was what part of my, my, my youth was a car accident that left my father paralyzed from his neck down, which definitely changed my life completely. But yeah, imagine being in a car accident, getting into the ambulance and then telling yourself, even though you're, you now have a broken arm and broken legs and whatever, telling yourself as the ambulance goes away from the, the scene of the accident, telling yourself, oh, well, uh, that wasn't such a big deal. It wasn't such a big deal. I'll forget about it. Does that make the, the broken arm go away? No. Does it make the broken neck go away? No. <laughs> no. So physically, you can't do that. Emotionally, you can, but it doesn't make the pain go away. It just pushes it down and it takes a lot of energy to keep it pushed down. And so all of that energy that you're using to keep your pain pushed down instead of just handle it means that you are under earning because you don't have energy to put towards building a business or put towards a great relationship or put towards the next step of your life because all of your energy is being used in pretending that you have no pain, in pretending that things that happened in the past are just not that big a deal and it doesn't matter, in pretending you don't have secrets that you're keeping that are keeping you stuck. Honey, you have to actually handle this stuff. And, it, and the, the, cra the crazy thing is, if you would just handle stuff as it comes or as soon as you notice it, 
it wouldn't actually take that long to handle. We get so afraid of feeling emotional pain. We're so afraid that if we feel emotional pain, we're going to be stuck there forever. And so you don't want to feel any of it. And so you make it worse by pretending it is not there. And so then you hold yourself in this pattern where you can't achieve the things that you want to achieve. Because you don't have energy to create it because all of your energy is being used to keep yourself down. Keep all the pain down. Pretend it doesn't exist. Let's minimize everything because we are just going, we just need to do the next thing. Just go to work. Go to work. Go do the next thing. Do the, come on now. <laughs> are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? There's the spiritual side of you, there's the emotional side of you, and there's the practical side to creating anything. These three parts, are, they, they, they are, it's important in every area of life. One of the biggest reasons why most spiritual people are not achieving the things that they know in the core of their being that is theirs. You know, you hear these promises if you're brought up religious, particularly if you're brought up Christian, you have so many promises of all the things that you should be able to accomplish life in all its fullness. And, you know, you have the power to create wealth, and blah, 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 blah. And you quote all of this stuff. But are you seeing it in your life? If you're not, I promise you that one of those three areas is at, at, at fault. That you're either not taking enough action. The chances are in this community that you are taking a lot of action. That's not the problem. You are either, you are maybe disconnected from your source. So you have some kind of weird idea about what source is, what the divine is and all of that stuff. And so there's a blockage there or emotions. You are just not handling your pain. For most of you, that is the issue. You're not handling your pain. It doesn't actually need to take that long to handle your pain, but you actually need to acknowledge it. You can't sort something out if you refuse to see that it's there. The divine can't help you with it if you refuse to actually see that it's there. And the truth is, the moment you choose to see that it's there, you can handle it. Now, if you've had stuff pushed down for a long time, yeah, it may take some doing. You may need to work with a coach. You may need to work with a therapist in order to move forward. But you can move forward. It's like, that's why I've created the um, Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track um, um, was it, uh, Incubator. I'm going to call it an incubator. You know, the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Incubator. That's why I've created it for people who want to create six figure in incomes in their own spiritual business. But I know that it's more than just strategy. I give you strategy and you have to be doing that action. But you know what? Once you start taking action in the direction of your six figure of spiritual business, all of this stuff is going to come up. Spiritual <laughs> business growth is crazy, amazing spiritual and personal growth. <laughs> Because <laughs> once you start taking strat you start using the strategies to move your your income forward in terms of and also to start having the impact you want to have on the people you feel called to, all of your stuff is going to come up. That's why I say to people, you know, come in here, come into the deliberate millionaire fast track for a year. In a year, we'll get you to six figures as long as you continue to handle your internal stuff, which I will support you with. So yes, that's my invitation to you. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire Fast Track Incubator if you are that action-oriented spiritual person who is either looking to grow your spiritual business or you're looking to start your spiritual business and you know you want to scale it to at least six figures, making a difference and changing people's lives, okay? Because you have some, you, you know, you want to coach, you want to heal, you want to teach, you want to advise, you want to counsel, that kind of a thing. You want to write books, that kind of thing. Come into the Deliberate Millionaire um, Incubator because I can support you in putting the business in place but we do more than just that. We help you heal. Because until we help you heal, you won't even be able to make the six figures. And some of you all already know that because you've been trying for years trying to get there. But you have to take those three parts of you into consideration because if you don't, you won't achieve the things that you want to achieve on this physical plane. You are more than just a physical body getting by in life. There's more to you than that. And this whole trying to minimize what happened to you, it doesn't, it doesn't help. Your, your, all of your energy is caught up in keeping yourself down. No, you don't win that way. So honey, it's time to heal. It's time to heal. If you're not ready to start your own business or whatever, then get the four books. That too is on the page. Get the four books. 
start the healing journey because this is affecting even your career. Okay? You hearing me, my love? Are you hearing me? It's time to heal. Okay, so if you are that entrepreneurial person, already in business or about to be in business, go and join the Deliberate Millionaire um, Fast Track Incubator. If you're not <laughs> entrepreneurial, get the four books. I will put the links to both around this video. I don't like to make two such offers like this, but I also know, one thing I know about you is this. When you start to heal, <laughs> even if you don't think you're entrepreneurial now, the chances are that you will be because you will want to write books. You will want to help people. There's a part of you that feels called to make a difference to a lot of people. You know it. You just didn't always see yourself as a business owner. I get that. <laughs> but I'll get you. <laughs> okay, then, my loves. <laughs> I hope you're hearing me. Let us do the inner healing as well as the external work. That is the work that works, okay? Share this video with somebody else. Make your choice. Let's go, man. Let's go. The world awaits our awakening. We need more spiritual healed, spiritual people out there in the world making a difference, doing what they're called and born to do. That is your true design. So wake the heck up. Let's get you to six figures doing what you are born called meant to be doing with your life. Okay, come on now. Much love, much love, much love. Till the next time. Share this video with somebody else. Did I say that already? Say it again. <laughs> Speak soon, okay? Bye.